The interesting thing about digital payments is that there are so many data formats uh, and the onboarding of each new bank uh, for digital payments takes a long time. So it's very interesting to use machine learning and AI to do this onboarding process much faster. The combination of the phone, whether it was the first the feature phone, but now the smartphone, the combination of the phone and digital payments, the whole mobile internet revolution has taken us to a completely different phase. I remember like 15 years ago, even longer, maybe 18 years ago, banks, more progressive banks uh, leadership saying, the internet revolution's coming, we need to be ready. It really took the phone, the mobile phone, for that to be realized, this digital dream and particularly in places like China, Asia, emerging markets. Uh, so so what, what we are working on is to automatically detect data formats in that space because it will allow us to easily onboard and save our clients lots of money because you don't need mapping exercising and transformation exercises and things like that. So part of what's going to um, come with real-time payments is the ability to do a request for payment. So the idea that the, the person that is owed the money can send out a request to the person that owes the money and the, um, the person that needs to make the payment can see that request and action it. And all of the data about the payment, about the payment request and the payment itself flows with the, with the payment request and the payment. So not only are you, you know, changing, fundamentally changing the way, say for example, a corporate could collect from their, um, their customers, whether it's businesses or consumers, but you're changing the way the data flows. And that the ability to do that could really change the game, um, or really sort of revolutionize how collections are done in the US. Our customers need to get paid, but as importantly, they need to be able to handle the information about that payment. Using machine learning to load data in the payment space is, is interesting because there are so many formats and no standardization of formats. So specifically in that space, Swift is not allowing us to load standardized data. Then there are a lot of uh, data formats like ATM journals. Each ATM writes different formats. So there are lots of formats, they all contain the same data. So the, the idea is to automatically detect that the data you need, like amounts and currencies and bank accounts in that data. For a human being, it's, it's pretty easy. If you look at such a, such a data stream, you can easily identify that. For a machine with conventional technology, it's very, very complicated. And we spend lots of time to, in professional services to map that data, load that data and match that data. Now with machine learning we can optimize that. It's pretty new what we do. We are also working on patents, uh, patents where we, where we, you know, the things that we invented, we want to have them patented. I, I don't see any anyone working on that at the moment. Uh, but um, so, so we use that technology in the lab, and it works great. And now we integrate it into our products. So uh, the Aurora suite, it already gets some of the parts integrated. In TLM Rex, we, we already integrated some of those parts. So I think later this year, we will see lots of the, those technologies surfacing.